Would you like to know how to go Facebook Live but in landscape mode? Well, stay tuned, I've got you covered. Hey, it's Philip here, the Curly Marketer. You're very welcome to today's Curly Marketer tip, a social bite size tip. Now, this is a strange video. I, yes, I'm gonna be talking about how to go landscape in Facebook, but COVID-19 has really just kind of um, exploded across the globe. It's affecting everybody and businesses, you know, and as a business owner myself, you know, I have my own fears and thoughts, but I am very much committed to trying to stay positive and optimistic. And most importantly, I'm all about trying to support my fellow entrepreneurs, my clients, business owners who want to try new social media during this very tough period to keep their businesses communicating with their own audiences. And I think Facebook Live, in particular using Facebook Live in landscape mode, uh, could be a fantastic tool and tactic to use to bring even more authenticity to your brand. But I suppose there's a lot of confusion uh, when it comes to Facebook Live because generally, you know, when you go live on Facebook, a lot of people will hold their phone in the traditional portrait manner. They'll start their live video and then they'll kind of might think that they can just turn their phone to landscape and the video will automatically go to landscape and that is untrue. Unfortunately, once you start a Facebook Live in portrait, you are in portrait for the whole video. Now that may be fine if you're just, for example, say you might be going for a piece of video where you just want to talk to the camera and you're not trying to teach anything or show anything in the background. So that sort of portrait mode is perfectly fine. But you know, in this period of maybe COVID-19 and maybe your client base would benefit from maybe say you going through uh, some particular solutions and maybe you wanna show a whiteboard or a screen or maybe a flip chart and give maybe a, a live training where you can show that information on screen. That's where the Facebook Live landscape could be very powerful. So if you're an iPhone user, this video is going to be very useful for you. If you're an Android user, I'm sorry, I haven't found a fix for this, but if you use Android, I would love to know in the comments below if uh, you have a fix for it. But if you're on iPhone, watch this video. This is how you can go landscape on Facebook Live. So stay tuned. Okay, so you want to be able to record your Facebook Live in landscape on iPhone. Here's how you do it. Click your settings, go to display and brightness, and then go down to your display zoom. Make sure you have this as standard. Most people have it as zoomed, but you want to go to standard. So once you've got that set, let's go into Facebook. And there I am, hello. Now, currently, obviously I'm holding my phone in portrait. If I went start live video now, my Facebook live would be saved as portrait. But because we changed our, displays, our display settings to standard, if I now flip my phone to landscape, I now have the ability to go Facebook Live landscape. But the most important thing is, make sure that you put your phone in either landscape or portrait mode before you hit start live. Because whatever orientation your phone is in, when you go live, you cannot change it. So I could not, for example, say, start my live video in landscape and then flip the phone around to portrait it won't happen, it will stay in landscape. So once you go um, and start your live video, whatever way you have the phone, the phone positioned, that's the way your video is going to end up. So that's the secret. Make sure that uh, that's um, in display and settings that you've got standard for the display and then turn the phone to landscape to go landscape video. So I hope you found uh, this Curly Marketer tip, the social bite size tip useful. I think definitely test out Facebook Live uh, and landscape uh, if you have a very engaged Facebook community, and particularly if you have a Facebook group where you'd like to present some very specific sort of training to answer any specific questions that might be, have arisen from COVID-19. And as I said, my main goal uh, is very much I want to share my knowledge and my tips and try and help entrepreneurs and people who want to use social media to continue to communicate with their audience via social media. I want to try and share my tips and my tactics and my knowledge as best as I can. Obviously, if you want to find out more about me, my website is uh, thecurlymarketer.com and I will see you again soon with another Curly Marketer tip, social bite-sized tip. And in the meantime, please stay healthy, safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.